I don't know. Maybe it's too much for a second date. What's the guy like? Uh, he's normal. He, he's very pretty. Uh, and if I have his hearing aid chain, he's gonna think I'm like a disabled chandelier. What could that mean? Uh, it's too flashy. I found this at like the dingiest antique store in the world and like I didn't want to buy it but you know I can't say no to those people. Well, you'll figure it out. No. Ah! Happy Tuesday. Who are you? Get out of my house. I'm your conscience. What? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm the ghost that lives in your hearing aid chain. What? Are you haunting me? Correct mundo, mon ami. My name is Jennifer Tarp Keebler. Oh Tarp like the thing, Keebler like the syndrome. And uh, that chain right there is actually a necklace that once belonged to me. You see, I, once, uh, I was once the best ice dancer in the great state of Maryland until I died in a freak Zamboni accident while wearing that very chain. Well, I'm not gonna wear it tonight. I I'm going on a second day with this guy and I want it to go wet. That's perfect. You see, all I want is a night out. So just take the chain on and uh, take me with you. I can't listen to this. I need to get ready. Well, have it your way. I'm sure I won't cause any problems. Jennifer! Jennifer! <laughs> hey, Martin. What's tweeting? Do you have my phone? Well, you know, I just posted some of my thoughts and now someone named Portia de Rossi is trying to cancel you for biphobia. Um, what happens at Vassar stays at Vassar, that's what I always say. Hey, uh, Martin. Marty. Malamar. Look, I'm Sia. I've got thick skin and an electric hip. You get it? Because of the hair on my head. You know, I don't care what you do, I'm not leaving this apartment with your chain on. You will do as I command. No. Get me a pretzel. You look like oh. Leah Delaria's stage manager. Okay, you're coming with me. Oh! What do I have to do to get you to leave? I have one piece of unfinished business. Sure. Are any of the following people alive? Betty White, Queen Elizabeth, Rosalind Carter, the unsinkable Molly Brown, Betty White, my mother, bitch that she is, and Betty White. No, they're all dead. Well, that solves that problem. Please leave. But I made you this mug. Keep turning. Jeb Bush? Jeb yeah, baby. Oh, okay. Fine, but but think about all of the crazy madcap adventures we could have, huh? Sometimes a ghost lives in your hearing aid chain. And you live together and you're best of friends And you solve the mysteries of the city No! No! Well, answer me this, Buster Brown. Why not? Huh? Are you ashamed of me? No. I, I think the chain looks nice. It's just... I got it because I wanted to be flashy and I just don't think I'm ready for it. Well, of course it looks weird. You're wearing it on the gay side. No! I... I like having a hearing aid, but like, most of the time, and like a bedazzled hearing aid is, you know, very my vibe. But like, I guess there is a ten percent of me that thinks it looks stupid, and having a hearing aid is stupid, and maybe I should just hide it. Okay, fine. I didn't die in a Zamboni accident. I wasn't an ice dancer. And I did not produce Denise Richards' seminal comedy album, Denise is a River in Egypt. I was a toothpick saleswoman, and I died comfortably of old age in an okay nursing home. My life was boring. I hid the best parts of myself. 
and I don't want you to do the same. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't be. Just, um, have fun. And, and be yourself, I guess. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll wear this out. But, but we should go. Mm. Uh, cause I'm like, ridiculously late for my date. Yeah, that's funny. You're, uh, you're kind of like this metaphor for me accepting my disability and accepting my unique way of being, you know? <laughs> oh. I'm a full ghost. Mm. And you know what? Hell is real. Oh. And I've been there. Everybody looked like Stanley Tucci. In hell, the only dessert is pavlova, and everybody talks in a New Zealand accent. In hell, the only art is multimedia.